You've signed a purchase contract or a lease agreement for a piece of property, perhaps your next home or future place of business. You're excited about your new venture and are anxious to get the keys to your new place. The purchase contract will show your purchase price. The lease agreement will reflect your rent payments. But what else is in that agreement that could impact your rights and obligations in the transaction? And how do you actually get the deal closed? Hi. I'm Amy Monas, a real estate attorney at the law firm of Crary Buchanan in Stewart, Florida. With nearly two decades of experience in real estate transactions, I've learned that other than the closing, the most critical time for your deal is before you sign your purchase contract or lease. Once signed, that agreement will serve as your roadmap in navigating through the closing process, which can often be complex and daunting. If you don't know your rights and responsibilities ahead of time, the legal implications can be significant and potentially costly. Once your contract or lease is signed, I will continue to work with you throughout the transaction. I'll guide you through the various steps in the process to ensure that your closing runs smoothly to completion. Founded in 1927, Crary Buchanan is one of the oldest firms on Florida's Treasure Coast. With substantial experience in nearly every major area of the law, Crary Buchanan's attorneys provide exceptional legal services to our clients while maintaining the highest ethical standards. And remember, whether you are a buyer or a seller, a landlord or a tenant, before you sign, call me, Attorney Amy Monas at Crary Buchanan to get the legal advice you need for your next real estate transaction.